Hey everybody, Hoover here with Cryptic Technology. Wanted to bring you the uh, Ryzen processor. Uh, I did not receive a review sample. This is actually one I pre-ordered. So this say, was not a sample given to me or anything. This is a purchase. Uh, I purchased the Ryzen R7 1700X. Uh, I'm going to be doing a build with it. I uh, just wanted to do an unboxing real quick to show you what's all in the box. This is a retail box. So basically what you what's inside is what you get. Um, it does have all the standard, you know, Ryzen logo. Uh, orange and the processor showing here. You do see it does have the laser etched Ryzen on top of the processor. I have not opened this box yet, so this is kind of a you're gonna see what I see when when we're opening this. Of course, I did cut the top. That way, I didn't have to go ahead. Here we go. Let's get in the box. And at first thought, when I purchased this, I thought I was getting the, the new RGB coolers with it and, and everything. But I found out that the 1700X and the 1800X do not come with a cooling system. You have to provide your own. So there is no cooling fan. Nothing in the box. It's just a big, empty space. Um, I was kind of disappointed by that with the price of it. I thought it would be cool to have the, the RGB cooling system. Uh, the new cooler looks really cool with the with the ring around it and the way it glows. And, and uh, the new motherboards actually do support the, the RGB ring. So now we do pull out. It did come in... Uh, Actually, a little box instead of a normal, you know, little plastic sleeve that they usually come in. So that is nice. It does have the Ryzen 7 case badge sticker. And we'll just open this little box. Got your installation and instruction manual, and then also certificate of authenticity, um, all the warnings, uh, user's guide, everything. Standard, standard booklet, and then there's the chip. Now I, I will be putting this into a, uh, a build here in the next couple of videos. Uh, I'm going to be showing off the equipment I'm going to be using with it. I do have a uh, ASRock Killer SLI AC board that I picked up. Um, this is also purchased, so everything in the video you're going to get to see is everything out of pocket by me. There's no, you know, they sent me this and I'm biased to review it. I am, this is all purchased from me. So uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, if, you, if you do like, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll have more videos to come. And hopefully I'll get this in a system get some benchmarks going and even compare it against what I call my carbon monster, which is an i7 6850K loaded pretty much to the teeth. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of compare some results and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching.